Hi everyone, today is the 24th of July 2023. I just swapped over vehicles from their parking spot, so I'll put Bertie Bus up on the front of me drive and I brought George down. Um, today is one of them days where that keep raining. I, the plan was, I looked on the app this morning that said rain clearing by 10 uh, should be getting out for a few hours but it's now one o'clock and still keeps drizzling so my plan was to try and do something with that exhaust was knocking on the bottom of the car and have a look underneath the back have a little clean up but other than that i thought i'd just check my oil check the water and I've got something here. Da -da, little envelope here. There's something in there, which we'll have a look in a second. She's got it opened. Da -da. Yes, a little um, LED warning light. So, thinks the weather's a bit rubbish. I might be able to get inside and just drill a little hole and we'll fit this. So that should be okay. Um, my fuel had gone down on this to just underneath quarter between quarter and empty and George started spluttering again so I'm pretty sure that's when it's gonna run out so so what I've done I've just gone and stuck a couple of liters in the tank and I put five liters in a can so what I'm gonna do now is just continuously use him and just see what happens and I've got some fuel with me then if he does conk out and run out of fuel before it's completely empty. But I'm pretty sure that's not far off empty when it gets between quarter and empty. And another reason I wanted to have a look underneath the back, I wanted to find out where those spots of oil, because now I'm thinking it's not eating oil spots. I've got a feeling there's something else, but we'll talk about that later. Right, um, let me just check my oil and water and then we'll go inside the car and have a look at this little light, this little warning lamp. There we go, we got into the car now. Oh, by the way, the oil was just the same place as before. It has lost a little tiny bit, but nothing on the stick. Like I've always said, a little tiny drop of oil on the ground, if it's a bit damp, will look much worse than what it is. So this is quite similar to the one that's already in here, to be honest. Um, and what my plan is, is just to pop it this side. Because at the moment, I've only got the one. And I do keep leaving it on though, so time to get this fitted. How easy is it going to be? Should be simple, but you know how it is. Right, first of all, I need to have a look what room I've got for the wires. And then drill a hole. Got behind this glove compartment with all this mess of dodgy wiring is but I've just tucked this uh, one end of this cable into what goes down to the indicators onto the car and the other end to an earth so we should be good to go there we go and there's the other one. When the engine's not running, obviously you can hear them quite easily. But with all the noises of the old cars, you can't always hear it. So that's that. I just need to find somewhere to put it. Originally, I did say I'd drill a hole and put it this side. But now, I'm not sure if them cables are going to be long enough without extending them. So I might just put it underneath. 
So I'll, I'll know the bottom one is left and the top one is right, or the green and yellow. As long as I can see something flashing, I know the indicator's on, and I'll see where the stalk is anyway. So that might be my plan, just to shove it underneath here. I'll just check, just to see whether that'll reach the other side, but I don't think it will. To be honest, these cables are, are really, really short, so... That's not even going to reach to there without pulling tight. So I'm going to extend them and then put it this side. But first of all, I'm going to drill a hole in this side. So we can poke this in and just check that all lines up okay. That's the plan. Right then, so I've extended the cable. Yeah, I know I've only just used uh, bits of tape, but... It's very low wattage LED um, indicator warning light or, yeah, warning light really. Guess what they call it. What else would they call it? Signal? I don't know what they call it. Anyway, and I've extended. That should now reach to where I need it under there to that ball of wires there. Drill the hole here. So we'll... Stick that in there right now and connect it up. Okay guys, so we're all connected up now. It's got to put a bit of tape on the wires, but let's do a test. There's the ignition on. There's a the left turn. And there's a the right turn. What a difference that's going to make, eh? Let's just check that the indicators are working okay on the outside. Gemini's in the back there, yeah, look. She's having a lay down. So there's obviously the left hand indicator's working. Working on the back. And the warning light for the left hand turn. The right hand turn. I just had to check because before when I was messing about with these, I ended up with all four indicators, if you can remember. That's cool. Everything's working as it should. So I'm pleased about that. It's another job done. I've just got to put some uh, tape around the wires just to make sure they don't touch anything and set all the indicators off. And that's another little job done. I'm happy about that. Are you happy, Gemini? Gemini? Not impressed, is she? <laughs> right, that's all them wires tidied up under there. Got loads all hanging about under here. Look at this lot. Concoction. Some are just cut. Probably old speaker wires or something. Some here, they look like speakers going to the speaker at the left here. Oh, these lot here. Who knows? No, um, no. I think I'll just need to try and do something with those wires. Obviously, you wouldn't have seen them if the parcel shelf would have been in. But if you can remember from years ago when I used to have my other channel and this car was on there a lot with all the welding and stuff we did this was filled in I had uh, like a checker plate across here and just a hole cut to get to this heater control but everyone's got their own ideas we didn't have a radio I don't think so we've got a radio here now it does work well the CD player works the radio would work if I had an aerial but there's no aerial but I'm not really bothered about a radio. I will probably put something back here, probably a piece of ply or something, and then put all those dials in we have with the um, oh the voltage gauge, temperature gauge, God knows what else gauge was with though. I can't remember now. Oil pressure gauge, I think, but. I need to probably work out some fittings for them. But that'll be at a later date. At the moment, 
I just want to use George and keep him on the road. Also, I've noticed my seat is really rough in here. The seat is collapsing even more now. It's all falling apart. Oh, that looks like there's a piece of wood in there. I thought there would be something in there. But I got those other seats, if you remember, from a Mini or wherever they came from. And eventually, I might put them in. A bit wet in there, must have came in when I had the door open. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a state inside, isn't it? But hey ho, the sun's come out. That's good. So, what's the next job to do? I uh, might take this door card off, see what's going on with this window winder. Obviously, something to do with this damage on this door. Let's see if I can just get screwdriver, undo these. Pop his door card off. I've just pulled off the the door pull. This um, door card looks like it was probably brand new. Why he spent that kind of money, I don't know. Because, well, the rest of the car, as you know, everyone's got their own ideas. He may have just picked them up from another car when he got the other bits and bobs. So these are just Phillips screws. That one's not going to come undone. What about this one? Yep. So I'll just whip this off and then this should just pull off with little plugs. Take all those off. It's already starting to fall off. Just pop this out. Ta-da! Oh, the door is not as bad as I thought. I thought it was going to be a right rust bucket. Obviously, there's some black stuff on this door. Sound deadening or whatever. Or just black paint. Not sure. So whereabouts is that tape? Tape is there, just underneath that handle. To be honest... Hard to feel there's anything wrong on the inside unless there's filler in there. Hmm, strange. So let's see if we can find out what's going on with this. Obviously, that is the door pull. There's the winder. Why is it getting stuck? There, that's where it gets stuck. And you can see it's hitting this. So somewhere along the line. Somewhere here. Yeah, it's just this is just catching that rod as that goes up there. So whether that's had a whack in and it's a bit bent, who knows? More investigation with this. Maybe if I bend this a little, I might be able to stop that from happening. I'll have a little fiddle. Oh yeah, so a little bit of WD-40 on some of the moving parts and bending this bracket more closer to the frame that's what just holds the door lock as you can see the window was catching on it so now that winds up and down quite smoothly put some WD-40 here probably you really need a bit of grease in it but do all that later I just wanted to make sure or find out really what the causing the problem but there's no problem at the minute the other strange thing is looking at the inside of this door directly under the catch it don't look a problem but as you know 
on the other side where all the tape is it was all splitting so I might pull that off and have a further investigation of what needs doing there and if you can see down into the bottom the bottom of this door is actually gone so this door really needs coming off um, well ideally it needs a new door but it ain't worth spending that kind of money on an old car an old ratty car like this so what we will be doing is getting this door off at some point and doing a repair right I'm gonna I'm gonna take this tape off and have an investigation of this door how bad it is what's going on it's gonna make a mess of it right I'll get that off well guys as I'm peeling this off look water started pouring out of it which is not a good sign hold on wow look at that nice big piece of filler hmm to the door it's not actually through is it what the hell's going on not right through it's obviously rusted here and rusted that bit out or did this door have a whack at one time a long time ago and it was pushed out best they could do and then put the filler in you can see how thick the filler is here look which indicates that door is dented which would make it why the doors are catching together on the window winder and the door opener wow wow that is all strange so what do i do so the door is not actually whole but all the water is getting down behind this fella so i might be able to get away with refilling this I clean it up with a grinder obviously it should have been pushed out better flattened off and done properly I had a vision that that was completely rusted that might go through when I get a grinder on it get a flappy disc on it the bottom's still going to have to be repaired I know that's all gone through but this here it's obviously filler and the water's got underneath the filler and obviously rusted the door and it's still not through though which is a miracle well we learn something every day let's have a look further down on the inside no it's not it's not through look that's just dented in by the feel Maybe they couldn't get to it to get it out, they just knocked out of it and used that piece of filler, which may have lasted quite a while. That is quite thick. With the door keep slamming, eventually that will crack and break out. What's happened there? Hmm. Interesting. Can be repaired. Well, I'll give that a quick clean off, and I find that kind of strange that 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 was filled because of a dent, and not because I had a split in the actual door. I might even be able to take this back to bare metal and try and. Fettle it out, or I could just re skim it and see how long it lasts, or I could just put a bit of paint on it as it is now. I like it, it's not as bad as I thought. Like I say, I know this bottom's going to need doing.
and very often I find something that is not as bad as I thought it was. I can tell you that now. Right, I need to put something on that now just to stop that rust getting in it anymore. Right, so obviously I found that weren't really a hole through there was the dent been filled. I ain't got time to do a proper job on it at the moment, so what I've done, I just cleaned it up a bit and put a bit of matte paint on it, which I had lying about in the garage. Hopefully that'll stop it getting any worse for the time being. But we will go round this car, and eventually that's all going to be um, black anyway. I will probably end up blowing it over. Because at the minute, if you look, look, like, I don't know what that paint is. It's like been brushed with uh, a tar brush with bits of black and grey colour. I don't know what it is. But I was just keeping the water out. And it's never going to look perfect anyway. If I wanted to make it look perfect, that would cost me a fortune to... Uh, Buy new parts. God knows, someone singing. But yeah, I'm happy that's not got the hole in it now, so we'll just continue with that. I'm putting the door card back on just be early because I don't know when I'm going to get round to doing the door. And if I just chuck it in the garage, I'll probably get damaged, lost, run over, something will happen to it. So the best thing for me to do just stick it on for now it's only a few clips i've got to put the handles back on and the winders so we'll pop them back on there's everything back on it's just nice to be able to open and close the window without a big effort and this is obviously not catching it now before that would get stuck and you'd have to yank it that's all to do with that brackets being bent now I don't know when this happened, but I never filled that door. I do remember that, and I ain't got a very good memory, but I think I'd know if I filled that. So whether that was filled after I sold it, it got whack and he filled it, but I think it's been on there a long time. I've got a feeling that was even on there before before I owned it. So that would mean that filler has been in there 10 years and more. Because I haven't done it. And by the looks of it, that's been there a long time and I don't think the guy would have done it. But I don't know, he might have done, but I don't think he did. So I think, I, I guess I'd say that has been in there over 10 years. Um. I knew I'd get eventually round to pulling the tape off and have a look. I thought the door was split. But when I noticed on the inside when we took the card off that it weren't split, it made me think it must have been whacked. I don't know what I'm going to do with that yet. It ain't worth spending hours on it trying to knock it out. Plus it's rusty now. That probably will break. I think eventually I'll grind that off again clean it right up and refill that or I might just tidy it up where the rough bits are on it and paint it as it is because I like it I like it better now it ain't got the tape on but I don't mind dents there's a bit what came out I'd say that has been in there a long while but then again what with this God knows how it's red oxide and the paint over it. Maybe he did do it. I don't know. That's a mystery. But anyway, the good point is, that's not a hole. That's just that. Obviously, the bottom is holed. And I think to do a... I ain't going to say a brilliant job, because there's no point, but to make it more... So it's not formed the bits at the bottom of that door. That needs to come off. And we'll sort it out. So that's on the list. There's cracking one of these wheel arches somewhere it is. Look. 
got cracks in but that's obviously filler so whether that's dented and been filled or whether that's rock I yet to find out that one this door is well it's what it is what it is I'll eventually go over it probably with a sander sand it all off put bits of filler in it where I can bits of metal where I have to and then get some black paint on it once the wall's good so I think what to do now is go for a test drive because you never know need to test them indicators work I need just go for a drive really don't I I've got to go back to work anyway to lock up so that's ideal time go for a test drive and check out the indicators Well, here we go. Got traffic lights right here now, so we're going to have to watch ourselves. There we go. Them traffic lights have been back. Two, three. Must be the fourth time now, I think. Well, it's got out quite warm now. It hasn't been cold today, to be honest. It's just been a bit miserable where it keeps raining.